formerly a lawyer by training. And, uh, cryptocurrency, there is a tendency to uh, connect cryptocurrency and money. But the sad truth is that uh, these two are different entities. Cryptocurrency is not exactly what we would define as money. But of course, uh, many people de describe it as internet money. So there are different characteristics. But the, the striking similarity between cryptocurrency and uh, money, like cash, is the fungibility. We call it fungibility because it can be replaced by another unit of the same currency. But the key point here is that we live in a world that has been outpaced by technology. Blockchain technology is one of the emerging technologies that we uh, that is on the rise right now. And then we must pay special attention to what is happening in that space, in the cryptocurrency space. Although in Nigeria today, there is the problem of uh, stigmatizing uh, blockchain as a result of its relationship with cryptocurrency. But we will be very well advised to remember that blockchain technology is a standalone technology, just like any other technology that you can think of, artificial intelligence, maybe. So, we, it is important to also understand that uh, technology is the most viable modern tool that okay, we have right now to grow our economy. Uh, I think we would all live here today convinced that the most uh, powerful tool to transform society is technology. And there is no doubt about that. And we've seen this uh, play out in um, many advanced countries where we compare ourselves with them, we see the, the, the difference. And this country has been significant advancement leveraging technology. So why, the question is, why are we lagging behind? So, uh, Promoting inclusive growth, growing our economy, comes down to the question of how do we use technology to facilitate economic development, economic growth, inclusive growth. And the reality is that today we happen to be stuck with conventional solutions. We need to think outside the box. We need to uh, experiment with blockchain technology. The countries around the world have tried and tested it and then there have been successes in, in, in many respects. Like, I'll give you an example in Switzerland. Switzerland is one of the countries in the world now that have experimented successfully with blockchain in voting. So Nigeria can do something, uh, can do the same. We can re replicate that here. There's nothing stopping us. So, growing our economy inclusively, an economy where no one is left behind, where everyone is provided with equal opportunities. It's a question of how do we take maximum advantage of the technologies that we have. So I'm, I'm going to strongly recommend that we skip the conventional solutions and experiment with blockchain technology as one of the emerging technologies today in the world. And um, the, the potential is vast. So when it comes to blockchain, there is a thin line between reality and myth. But let us focus on, on the myth, uh, on the reality now. So the, rea the reality is that blockchain technology has a huge potential to transform our society. It is one of the technologies whose uh, total addressable market is in trillions of dollars. It has given birth to different technologies. We call them Web3 technologies. We name them decentralized uh, physical infrastructure networks, deep in. Real world asset tokenization, we call them REWAT, so digital asset tokenization. These are NFTs and let us name them. So these are emerging technologies that have created um, emerging markets that are worth trillions of dollars when you, when you, when you read uh, researches from crypto analytic firms. that will give you data pointing to how these, how big these uh, industries are going to become in the future. So we need to, to start thinking of how to experiment with technologies of the future, one of which is blockchain technology. Because we, we just need to skip the conventional solutions and try something else. 
to grow up, to promote inclusive economic uh, growth. So and, um, to, to cap it all, I, I'm going to quickly uh, share some of the governmental efforts made in Nigeria here so far. So Nigeria is one of the countries in the world that have published their national block, uh, blockchain roadmaps. I think we deserve a round of applause for this. It will, it will interest you to know that Nigeria is one of the countries in the world, one of the few countries in the world that have published their national blockchain roadmaps. That is, they're saying, okay, this is, this is our vision okay, for the future, leveraging blockchain technology. And that's all thanks to the former Minister of uh, Information, Ali Pantani. And today, again, um, we haven't done that. We have also made a significant uh, effort in domesticating blockchain technology. Uh, three months ago, um, the um, Solid Mineral Resources uh, Development Fund, a parastatal of the Federal uh, Ministry of uh, Mines and Field Development, signed a partnership agreement with Agile Dynamics, the Web3 company based in Dubai and Dubai. And the, the essence of the agreement is to facilitate of the fact that we are, we are lagging behind. 